Guys, let's talk about it. So Jamar Chase asked Chad Johnson to pay a fine for a touchdown celebration. Okay. Bengals receiver Jamar Chase doesn't shy away from celebrating touchdowns in exciting ways. It's a trait he shares with receiver Chad Ochocinco. Ahead of the team's Sunday night game matchup versus the Buffalo Bills, Chase gave a proposition to Johnson regarding an idea for a touchdown celebration. One of Johnson's most famous celebrations is when he grabs the camera from the around the end zone and starts acting like he's the cameraman. Chase told reporters on Thursday he would mimic this iconic celebration as long as Chad pays for the fine. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. Hang on. Chad, if I score a touchdown and grab the camera like you did, I need you to pay for the fine for me. That's my only, that's my only ask, man. <laughs> Chad. It's like a, at, at most, that fine is probably going to be like $50,000. Now, that's a lot of money, but when you look at the fact of how much Chad made in his career, that's not actually not that much money. Did Chad respond? Chad responded, say less, I'll pay the fine. That's my man, Chad. That's my man, Chad Oshosinko, baby. Uh, Johnson promptly responded to Chase's wishes, say less, I'll pay the fine. Now Chase would need to find the end zone on Sunday in order to fulfill this idea. Last week, Chase did a backflip in the end zone after scoring a touchdown. So, oh, this is beautiful. This is freaking amazingly beautiful. Hang on. I have to bring up this touchdown celebration. All right, hang on. Um, Chad Johnson. Uh, let me go. Camera celebration. Here we go. We're about to pull this up, boys. Because this is... If you're just definitely one of the best celebrations of all time, not even a question in my mind. All right, so shout out to Cincinnati Bengals actually for posting this, but this is the touchdown celebration he's talking about. I freaking love Chad. I love Chad. I'm just like, oh, bro, not this one. It's the one he was grabs the camera here. So we got the little bit of dance, a little bit of dance, you know what I'm saying? A little bit, a little bit of moves going on with Chad. He was always known for his moves. And then we had the end drum celebration. Now I, I did go ahead and mute the audio for the reason of I don't want to get copyright, but this is what he's talking about. Hang on. So this is what he's talking about right here. He goes in the end zone, right? And these guys obviously are the you know camera guys for the TV, so they can get every single angle possible, right? So what he does here is he grabs the camera and he points it and he becomes the cameraman pretty much. So <laughs> this is going to be like a $50,000 fine. Okay. The NFL. See, this is why the NFL is the not fun league. Why? I mean, I listen. Okay. I understand why you can't do this in the context of like every player would do this and this would become like a mockery, right? And the NFL would go like stupid crazy but like for one week like the nfl because he said it ahead of time this is not like think something's gonna happen out of nowhere right they should be like you know what for one week if chase scores a touchdown we'll let him do that celebration fine free just one time because if you obviously if you just let him do it you don't find him every player is gonna try to do it right so you guys have one week one attempt you can do it and will not find you. Because like, come on man, it's gonna be hilarious. Can you imagine? Chase scores a touchdown against Buffalo, grows and grabs the camera, points it at the field. And now I'm thinking about who would be on camera that would be the best on camera. Cam Taylor Brett is up there, right? Mike Hilton's up there. I don't know why I'm getting like this weird feeling like BJ Hill might be one of the best. He doesn't say much, but he's just funny. BJ Hill is just a funny guy, <laughs> even though he doesn't say much, he's just funny. <sighs> Sam Hubbard? No. Okay, I'm prob- I- mm. Joe would be funny, because Joe wouldn't do anything. Joe would just stand there and be like, What's up? <laughs> yeah, that's me. 
I'm Joe. Like, he would just be so chill and relaxed about it. He wouldn't even, like, you know, do anything about it. So, I, I would have to say Mike Hilton, man. Mike Hilton would be hilarious. I feel like he would say some things. But then the problem is also, you gotta keep in mind, you know, he can't... He has to, they have to watch what they say on the camera, right? Now, of course, if this is the case, right? You know, obviously, if he's gonna do this, which he said he is, and Chad said he'll pay the fine then they have to have the guy set up correctly in the end zone. So, this can't be a long endeavor, right? It can't be an endeavor that goes on for, like, three or four minutes. It has to be, like, I'm sorry, not three or four minutes. Like, you know, five or ten minutes. This can't delay the game because then we'll get a penalty. So, this has to be, like, a quick thing. So, they have to have those guys set up in the end zone already every single uh, drive, pretty much, just in case this does end up happening. Right? Whenever we get in the red zone. So, I'm going to say Mike Hilton would probably be the funniest. Now, he had to watch what he says for obvious reasons. Because, you know, he can't go out there and he'll get fined. Or, you know, if he says some things that are incorrect. But, this is beautiful. This is going to be beautiful, man. Jamar Chase. This is why I love Chase. 7-Eleven, man. Man got some good ideas. <laughs> I swear, Joe, I swear on everything, you better find this man for the end zone. I don't care what you have to do. I don't care if this is in garbage time, okay? This could be in garbage time. We could be up by 40 points in this game. Like, let's say we're up 49 to 7. I don't care. You you throw this touchdown. Tell the Bills, listen, we will throw a touchdown to Chase, and we won't throw any more touchdowns this game, and we won't, we're not run, trying to run up the score. We are trying to get this touchdown celebration because, if anything, ironically enough, the NFL... It's going to be so, like, you know, up and anti about this because, oh, how dare you do that? But it's like, if anything, that's more publicity for the NFL. It's going to be talked about around the whole entire world, pretty much. And the NFL is going to get more publicity, more people watching, more people caring about it. They could even, you know, post it on the YouTube channel so they'll make more money. Like, there's things that the NFL would win at, but the NFL doesn't like to win if it means benefiting others. So I've realized with the NFL, man, they don't like positive things even if it positive toward them if it benefits somebody else because that right there is not a win for the nfl and the nfl doesn't like it guys next week i think it's gonna i'm gonna say thursday or friday this uh not, not yeah next week thursday or friday i'm gonna be going live okay and i'm gonna be doing a huge cincinnati bengals merchandise unboxing we're talking about i think it's a total of five or six jerseys um, it's going to be crazy, guys. So I'm going to have it scheduled on my channel of uh, what day I choose to go live. So you'll know days in advance. But make sure you stop by and check it out because it's going to be a huge merchandise unboxing. I'm getting like two jerseys I can actually wear. You probably can't guess those players. But <laughs> I also am getting two jerseys. I was like, like four or five jerseys that are signed. So it's going to be crazy. Oh, I just gave away what the items were. I didn't give away the players. I promise you will not guess the player. Like, there's one player on there that you really will not guess. Like, you could guess all day. And you probably would not guess this said player. The second guy, you wouldn't guess him because of the context of, like, it just wouldn't make sense with me being me. Um... I'm thinking one guy is actually a up and coming player this year. He's actually playing really good. So it's not like a huge name player, but he's actually up and coming playing good. And I think about the other guys. The other guy is um hasn't been done doing much this season actually. And then our final guy Oh! Two jerseys are the same. <clears throat> Came a man actually. 